If you haven't been sick yet, man, you better uh, prevent it in any way you can. And that might include having some honey on hand. We know honey is good when you're already sick. A lot of people put it in their tea, but we're out at Simply Raw Honey. We're in the far west valley and you guys have a couple of honeys that are designed to kind of improve our immunity and help really uh, keep us healthy during cold and flu season. Tell me about your elderberry honey. Elderberry honey, we actually just started infusing elderberries into our honey. Honey has great benefits for anything from antifungal to antiseptic. Um, but what we're looking at now is because we're coming into the flu season is adding hun uh, elderberry in into our honey because it's going to actually not just you know fight against the flu it can prevent the flu from actually happening well and as we approach the holidays nobody wants to get sick uh, so you have that available and then you also have the turmeric ginger honey turmeric gets so much attention these days as an anti-inflammatory it doesn't taste great, but I imagine when you put it in honey, it's a whole different ballgame. Well, I would have to agree. Um, turmeric could get together. I mean, on chicken, it's great, but when you add it to different types of food, yes, it's a definitely a little bit, a um, little spicy, I would say. Quite but a taste. adding yeah. it to our honey, though, it gives it a real sweet taste. It's real mellow. Um, it's going to help with inflammation. It's going to help with sicknesses, cuts, wounds. It's amazing, um, actually, ingredients when yeah. we add it. How often would you recommend people uh, kind of take the honey? I mean, obviously, this is a business for you, but in general, to have its benefits really be effective. What the doctors that recommend us say is taking one teaspoon in the morning and one teaspoon at okay, night. So not a ton. Absolutely. All right, we are again in Youngtown off of 113th and Grand, but you guys have, you're in farmers markets. Get on their Facebook page, follow them on Facebook, and you can find them in different areas of the valley. And of course, we will put their information for you as well on our AZ Family mobile app. All right, so I, I shot that story yesterday out in Youngtown. It's like 113th and Grand Avenue, but I wanted you guys to taste test uh, these honeys. This is Scott. He's our floor director, our camera our master specimen. of all trades here. So I want you guys to taste it because when you think of things like turmeric and honey, they don't, they're not two flavors that you think would go together, but you, Preston, which one did you like the best? I, I like the turmeric. Turmeric, is that how you say turmeric, it? Turmeric, yeah. Turmeric? Uh-huh. Look at that. <laughs> it's got an oh, R in there. Oh, man. <laughs> I got to work on that. But I, you know, when I tasted this, it kind of put me in a different dimension. Try it, Scott. Go ahead, Scott. I will. See what and you think. Ian, you, which you... one did you say you liked the best? The turmeric? Uh, the the turmeric uh, was very good. The turmeric. Ian's, he's turmeric. kind of been going over there, um, nibbling on it for uh, the, the last hour. The other one tastes like gunpowder. <laughs> I love gunpowder. Gunpowder <laughs> and, and honey know, go <laughs> great. I'm from Arizona, which, so. Scott, what'd you, like the, the, the what'd you think about the like gunpowder? The the elderberry. What do you think about the turmeric, Scott? I the like turmeric, it tastes like we've added sugar to honey. Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> you think it's that sweet? It the honey is great. Sweet. Here's the Just deal, though. What I hate, Heidi, first mm -hmm. of all, I'm going to tell you this. I hate having this in my mouth. What do you hate? Tongue depressor? This, this, <laughs> this dry stick. Oh, well. Well, put some more honey on it. That and corduroy driving nuts. Um, they actually, Simply Raw Honey, they have uh, doctors at Midwestern University who actually are sending patients there for allergies, uh, people who have chronic and, okay. you know, inflammatory conditions. Is that good, though? Elderberry's better. What? To take the honey and, and the try seeds? to find a more natural way to keep the cold and the blues at bay. No one's listening to me. They're chewing the seeds. Anyway, we're going to eat our honey. We'll Chunky be right style. back. We're going to eat the one with gunpowder next. <laughs> Stay with us.